Now I'm hitting, after I get through all their perching spots and stuff, I'm hitting like pretty good open spots. And then of course, you know, it's open in the woods here a little ways, but then you get right to the edge where it's against the river. Drastically barricaded again. This should be the same as that. It's not. You can walk around freely. Harder to walk in. Oh, I found a hole. <laughs> spot of the river here this actually connects to a a lake up that way and then it comes out of that lake and it crosses over to uh, another lake where I find uh, Indian artifacts there's pottery and arrowheads and there's a whole bunch of it trail systems across these you go to Google Earth or even if you walk out here you'll see all the trail systems the places people don't go oh lord right now it's really deep snow it all kind of piles up the wind blows and it piles up here there's a place over there there's a lake but a lot of snowmobilers come across here by lakes and stuff I'd love to love to cross and get into this over here but uh, it's been a little too warm I don't trust these creeks and rivers this is what I'm in Cedar Swamp let's see so from this point where they could actually climb right in the river, cool off, whatever. You never know they're here in the summer, ever. You know, where they could, uh, clams galore through these fish, northern, drastic amount of food in, in these. I found clams in perches. I have, where they sit, I have found clamshells. So I do think they eat clams. I have found fish. I found uh, fish bones, <laughs> fish skeletons in their perches. So I think they eat fish. <laughs> I do find uh, do find bones, but they're always usually really old. So I don't know if they eat deer. So here anyways, I don't think they really have to. People think they need to eat the, the deer here? I don't think so. The protein that is in worms, grubs, uh, fish, clams, even plants is really, really high. I find, uh, Bugs like uh, dragonfly wings, uh, like they eat the rest of the dragonfly body and leave the wings in their perches. Um, I think these are the main sources here in Minnesota. 
at least in my area. I, I don't know of anybody else that knows how to hit these areas where they're actually hanging out to actually find exactly what they're doing, where they're digging, what they're eating. It's not that I think they're there, I've seen them there. See their pathways. I can see why they'd like that. See the hole punch through. a perch beautiful perch oh. here's another perch perches this is a perching spot They'll sit there, they'll sit there. You see how they block it off? Yeah, right up in there, they'll sit right up in there. It's a nice perching area right here, right along the river. Don't we have any clue they're in here? Got your, of course, X's. Look at this. Wow. It's either. What do they do? Sit here and pick at it. See this one here. You know, it's possible. Maybe they jump on this or probably hang on it a bit. Maybe the young ones hang on it and it goes up and down, but it's definitely wore down to kind of a pulp. <laughs> Can actually see where the you got moss, and then there's nothing, and then there's more moss up here. Maybe they do hang on it. Some pieces peeled off. 